A gentle person has strength under control. Why is this so important? Maybe some of you are going through a situation where you are doing what is right. You're following God, you're doing everything right, and yet there's oppression. It could be from a, a work-related situation. It could be from a family member. It could be from a friend, a schoolmate. And you're saying, Lord, I'm doing the right thing. Why is there injustice? And you're tempted to fight back. You're tempted to retaliate to the spouse, to the friend, to the business partner, to some random stranger who cut you off, to the government. You want to rant on Facebook and say something and act in an ungodly and unbiblical manner. And you're thinking, well, it's okay because this is my right. I should say something. If not, kawawa ako. Can you look at the person beside you and say, kawawa ka ba? That's what we're thinking. My rights, all of these things will be violated. And so we want to react and we want to unleash the beast. Maybe some of us had done that just on the way here. Well, what is the Bible reminding us of? If we want to be gentle, strength under control. Jesus could have easily unleashed and sneezed and everybody would have been obliterated before going on the donkey and said, you want to see the Messiah? This is it. But he didn't. Why did Jesus not unleash it then? Well, as the scripture said, he needed to fulfill the prophecy of the Messiah coming on a donkey. So he kept his strength under control. I need to fulfill this. I need to do this. So let me go through the motions and keep it under control. So whatever it is you're going through, part of what the Bible is encouraging you to do is to keep it under control. The Bible says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. So let him be your avenger. Do what's within your control that is biblical, but beyond that, you need to trust and say, okay, God will defend me. 